Support by fire position, over. Appreciate it. Third meter, over. Roger, good cop. Go ahead, send it. Roger, good copy. Break. All right, Sergeant Steven Metra, that's uh, S T E V E N and M E T R A. Uh, what unit are you with and what's your hometown? I am with 1st Platoon, Bravo Company, 91st BEB. That's 1st uh, Brigade, 1st Cavalry Division. And my um, hometown is Brookfield, Illinois. Sounds good. Um, so, sorry, uh, tell me a little bit about um, what, we're, what we did today. Today we did a uh, basic engineer battle drill. Um, basically, it's a... Uh, uh, two part movement, part mounted, part dismounted, moving up to uh, uh, an objective and en route to the objective we are supposed to in, uh, come upon an obstacle that we have to make a breach a footpath through and we have it's a two parts to breaching a footpath. You have a support by fire element uh, from your one team and your breach team on the other side um, that's there to uh, remove the obstacle. Okay. So. So why is this um, why is this kind of training important? Uh, the basic engineer skills, skills that as engineers we've gone away from. Uh, the last 10, 12 years we've been doing nothing but route clearance in Iraq and Afghanistan, and the engineer corps has gotten away from basic demolitions, um, basic breaching uh, tactics and techniques. Uh, the last time I threw a grapnel hook, I was a private. You know, and that was almost 10 years ago. So, seeing these guys, guys out here doing these things that I remember doing when I was a brand new soldier, and actually putting these uh, these tasks in place, it's been a long time since I've seen it, and some of these guys have never seen it. Uh, they've never even trained on it in basic training in AIT. So, to see them out here doing this stuff, I mean, it's it's good stuff. Now, and do you it's, think it's important for you know other um, engineer? Um, assets to be practicing this? Absolutely. Absolutely. The, uh, the wars of today are, are going to go back to what they were before. Um, uh, the war on terrorism is coming to an end. There's no more uh, insurgency to worry about. The, the constant threat of IEDs and therefore the only thing engineers being tasked with is, is route clearance. I mean, I, I feel personally that the next conflict we may or may not ever get involved in would be another force on force. Um, the likes of World War II and the beginning of Vietnam, where engineer battle drills for engineers are going to be paramount. You know, we're the cutting edge of our nation's sphere. So, we got to know how to do our job.